Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. So for this problem, let's solve the system of equations shown by a product of the inverse of the coefficient and the constant matrix, B by Gauss-Jordan method. So we are uh, using a calculator for part A because this is inverting 4 by 4 matrix the inverse of the coefficient and the product of the inverse of the coefficient matrix and the constant matrix. Then part B by, by Gauss-Jordan method. So take note that we can use the calculator canon which can invert a 4x4 four four matrix. So this is the system of equations. So we have to solve for w, x, y, and z the coefficients or the terms in the left side of the equation are already arranged in order. So we have here, this is the coefficient matrix times these variables, w, x, y, z equals this coefficient matrix. So therefore, W, X, Y, Z is the inverse of this coefficient matrix times this inverse of this coefficient matrix times this constant matrix. So the inverse, because the calculator can generate the inverse of this 4 by 4 matrix, so you just check it with your calculator. Then we can now solve for W, X, Y, and Z. By the way, this is the inverse, and therefore the value of W is 893 times negative 20.5 plus negative 708 times negative 16.85 plus negative 299 times negative times 5.95 plus negative 200 times negative 91.8 divided by negative 5831 x on the other hand is 40 times negative 20.5 plus negative 1305 times negative 16.85 plus negative 477 times 5.95 plus 422 times negative 91.8 then y negative 1018 times negative 20.5 plus negative 316 times 5.95 plus negative 397 times uh, 5.95 plus 399 times negative 91.8 then finally for z it is sorry divided by negative 5831 then for z it is negative 685 times negative 20.5 plus negative 247 times negative 16.85 plus 151 times 5.95 plus 62 times negative 91.8 then all over negative 5831 so W, X, Y, and Z would be equal to, so for W, negative 1.75, X, 3.5, Y, 1.25, and Z, negative 2.3. For the Gauss-Jordan method, so we first generate or transform this coefficient matrix into identity matrix so that we can solve for w x y z in the following manner so we have to put this partition wall then the co constant matrix then this should be one then zero 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 that's objective the diagonal element should be one for the identity matrix so first we divide row one by 2, row 1 previous by 2, so this would now be the results, 1, negative 1.5, 2, 2.5, then negative 10.25, so let's enclose this so that 
we won't be confused in the elementary operations succeeding elementary operations so row 2 the new row 2 elements here would be previous row 2 row 2 previous then minus 3 times uh, row 1 because this is the new current row 1 elements to make this 0 so 3 minus so 3 minus 3 times 1 so that's why it is the procedure is we put this guide row 2 previous this row 2 element previous then minus 3 times row 1 elements so 3 minus 3 times 1 is 0 here 2 minus 3 times negative uh, 1.5 is 6.5 then negative 2 minus 3 times 2 is negative 8 then you just evaluate this part 7 minus 3 times 2.5 is negative 0.5 and 16.85 minus 3 times negative 10.5 is equal to 13.9 so next is row 3 previous minus 7 times row 1 to make this 0 so we have 0 5.5 you just check this you just apply this formula here then row 1 elements would be this okay so 12 minus 7 times 2 is negative 2 then so on and so forth negative 26.5 and this should be 5.95 minus 7 times negative 10.25 so we have 77.7 .7. then row 4 previous minus 17 times row 1 elements corresponding row 1 elements so that's why this is 0 here then 12.5 7 minus 17 times 2 is negative 27 11 minus 17 times 2.5 is negative 31.5 negative 91.8 minus 17 times negative 10.25 is 82.45 then we make this 1 and all elements in column two zeros this should be one so row two previous divided by 6.5 that's the next step so we have 0 1 negative 8 over 6.5 is negative 16 over 13 negative 0.5 divided by 6.5 is negative 1 over 13 13.9 13 divided by 6.5 139 over 65 then since we want this to be zero so the uh, formula here is is row one previous plus 1.5 of row two so let's enclose this row two elements here so that we won't be confused so the formula would be row two preview row one previous plus 1.5 of row two so the result should be one zero two over 13 31 over 13 negative 1831 over 260 then row 3 previous minus 5.5 of row 2 that's formula so the result to be 0 0 then 62 over 13 negative 26.5 minus 5.5 of of negative 1 over 13 is 339 over 13 then 77.7 .7 minus 5.5 of 139 over 65 is 4286 over 65 then row 4 previous minus 12.5 of row 2 that's a formula so this would be the result 0 0 negative 151 over 13 then in here 
negative 31.5 minus 12.5 of negative 1 over 13, so negative 397 over 13. Then here, 82.5 minus 12.5 of 139 over 65 is 14,487 over 260. So next is we want this to be 1. So row 3 previews divided by times reciprocal of this 13 over 62. Let's have that on the next slide. So this was the results in the preceding slide. So next is row 3 previews times 13 over 62 to make this one. So the elements of row 3 would now be current elements of row 3 would be 0, 0, 1, then negative 339 over 62, 4 to 86 over 65 times 13 over 62 is 2143 over 155. So we want this to be 0, so the formula would be row 1 previews minus 2 over 13 row 3. This is row 3. Row 1 previous minus over 13 row 3, so we have 1, 0, 0, then 31 over 13 minus 2 over 13 of negative 339 over 62 is 100 over 31. Then this element would now be negative 1137 over 124. Then to make this previous row 2 element 0, this one, we have row 2 previews plus 16 over 13 of row 3. So this would now be 0, 1, 0, then negative 1 over 13 plus 16 over 13 of negative 339 over 62. That would be negative 2, 1, 1 over 31, then 139 over 65. 139 over 65 plus 16 over 13 of 2140 over 155, that would be 2969 over 155. Then row 4 previews plus 151 over 13 of row 3. That's the formula here. Row 4 previews plus 151 over 13 of row 3. So the elements of row 4 would now be 0, 0, 0. Negative 397 over 13 plus 151 over 13 of negative 339 over 62. That would be negative 5831 over 62. Then 14487 over 260 plus quantity 151 over 13 times 2140 over 155. That would be 216.3113. We cannot express it as fraction in the calculator. So finally, we want this one and all this coefficient 0. So to make this one, we multiply this by the reciprocal of this value, which is negative 62 over 5831. So row 4 previous times negative 62 over 5831, the elements would now be 0, 0, 0, 1. Then we have negative 2.3. Then because we want this 0, so the formula would be row 1 previous minus 100 over 31 of row 4. So we have 1, 0, 0, 0. Then the value is negative 1137 over 124 minus quantity 100 over 31 times negative 2.3 so we get negative 1.75 row 2 previews plus 211 over 31 of row 4 this is row 4 elements to make this 0 so we have 0 1 0 0 then we get the value of x which is 3.5 then row 3 previous which is this then plus three, we want this to be 0 plus 339 over 62 of row 4 and we have 0 0 1 0 
then finally we get the value of y which is 1.25 so therefore w is negative 1.75 x 3.5 y 1.25 z negative 2.3 so that's it i hope that you were able to follow the explanations and the solutions